Now, chains and antichains. A chain is a subset of a post set in which every pair is comparable. Look at the blue points. The blue points are X, T, E, and Y. And I ask you, is it the case that every pair of points, there are four points, so there's four choose two, six pairs, is every pair of blue points a comparable pair? Yes, it is. And so that's what's meant by a chain. Question? Pardon? Can S be part of this chain as well? That's a good question. That's a chain. I get to decide what's in the club and not in the club. So I put those four points in the club because every pair is comparable. Question? A chain is a total order? Yes, it is. If you pull it out all by itself, it becomes a total order. So what you're, you're, you're kind of getting ahead of it, but it's OK. It's a good, good comment. Whenever you have a post set, you can talk about a sub post set. You pull out those elements in some subset, and then you take the restriction. It's like an induced subgraph. So if you pull out the elements of a chain and take the induced relation on it, you will get a total order. It's exactly what you will get. All right, now I'm going to get to your question. A maximal chain of size 5. A chain is maximal when no superset is also a chain. So your observation was correct. I could have elected to put the S in, and now I have. And I have a 5-element chain. And you cannot add anything to this five-element set and keep it a chain. So that's a, what is meant by a maximal chain. Now here's a chain that's even bigger. It's a different one. K in, what is that letter? A, S, T, X. There's a chain of size 6. And that's maximal. You can't do any better. The notion of height. The height of a post set is the maximum size of a chain. Let's skip that second line for a moment and go back to this picture. What's the height of that post set? Are you absolutely certain? Are you absolutely certain? And if I gave you a post set on 10,000 points, could you find its height? And could you do it quickly and be absolutely certain of your answer? All right, let's skip ahead. I want to have the notion of an anti-chain. An antichain is a subset where every pair is incomparable. The red points here have the property that any two are incomparable. And now it's going to be just like our conversation with chains. Here is a maximal antichain of size 7. Now, actually, when you uh, download these notes, you, you should look at these examples. These are, these are non-trivial examples. You have to look at that for a few minutes to verify the two statements that are made. First, you have to verify that no two red points are comparable. That's pretty, pretty clear, though, isn't it? No two red points are comparable. But it, the stronger statement is that there is no point which is incomparable with all seven of them. And that's not obvious. It takes you a couple of minutes to really convince yourself that 
the statement being made is correct. The width of a post set is the maximum size of an empty chain. Skip the partitioning question for the moment. Go back to this post set. Just look at it for a moment. What do you think the width is? Now, you see, when I ask you the height, at least one person quickly said, well, the height's six. What do you think the height, the width of this is? It's a reasonable guess. It's wrong. <laughs> if I told you you can't eat lunch unless you can tell me what the height and the width of this post set is, and you were going to divide into teams, one half of the class was going to do the height, and one half was going to do the width, which team would you rather be on? Well, if you want to eat lunch for certain, height seems easier, doesn't it? Doesn't it? All right, I'm going to scan ahead and show you a picture. And come back to it. There's eight maximal elements. So the width isn't seven. You have to look at that. To make sure that what I'm saying is correct, and those are all the maximal elements. Maximal elements are always incomparable, so maybe the width is eight. But in fact, the width is at least nine. Now look at those nine points. I, again, this is a ten-minute exercise here. You you got to convince yourself that no two of those nine points are comparable. But they they look comparable, don't they? The ones on the bottom and the ones way up on the top, don't they kind of look comparable? Yeah, and there's nine of them, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, there's, I, I can do the nine, but it's the, it's the idea that they form a, an anti-chain. Hmm, now what do you think the width is? Would you guess? Maybe it's 10. Maybe it's 11. Maybe work a little harder and, and, and play around. What, what is, height's kind of easy. Width's a little more subtle. OK, now, uh, I want to stop today right with this uh, conversation. And I want to spend the balance of the time today talking about the survey that you uh, most of you completed uh, in our last class.